Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and today I will show the new version of Autodesk Fusion 360. Because the new version supports now the OpenGL and yes. So we change to my desktop and then we start with the configuration of Fusion 360. So here we are and now I will show where I have get the information. I go to my internet browser and we go to the github site and here I also writing with other pupils and try to solving one or the other problems. And now I will show which per, uh, which user have give us the information and the user is Maturani and this user have give us the information that the Fusion 360 now su support now the graphics driver OpenGL, the core profile and this works very very well and we have in the future no problems more with this configuration and yes so then I opening my terminal and go to my folder Fusion 360 and I starting the program Fusion 360 now And we must wait for a moment, please. And now we can see the construction workspace. And here is the information that, that we can see here. And yes, we close this. And now I will show which version support the OpenGL function. And this is the version 2.0. Point nine eight four nine, and when you don't see, and when you don't have any options to select or update to this version, then reinstall this program, and then you have this version. Okay, and when you go here to the configuration, 
Then we can see here now the graphics driver OpenGL core profile. And when we select this one and accept this one, then we restart this program. And after this one, we can use Fusion 360 with OpenGL. So, and then I will change my manual in the next time. We don't need this one here, these options. We don't use DirectX 9 in the future. Then I must change this to OpenGL. And yes, so then it's also important that you select the version to Windows 8 in your Ryan configuration and yes so go back uh, when you have installed this program and you start this program in the first time then you can't see this site here and you can't see the construction workspace here but it's not so important you go to the configuration here and change this to the OpenGL core profile and then you restart the Fusion 360 and then you can see the left side and the construction workspace. So and now I go to my projects folder and we opening my water pump what I have what I have showed you in, in my last video and we can see now that our project loads so fast and yes it's very crazy it works so good and when we go here to render and I think it works better at the moment as the way with the DirectX installation and I think in my opinion it's better for this program when we don't use any other operation system like as Windows because you know when you use two operation system then we must pay more and with this method we naturally save money and we must don't use two operation systems anymore in the future and yes that is a good option for this example here and then I will show in my next videos this one here, the simulation workspace. But now I have some problems with this one because I get some errors when I create and study on my machine. But I think I make a video where I show you that we can make a study when we use the cloud points so that was for today and yes so thank you for watching my video and when you like it my video then it was good when you give me a thumb up please and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the little bell here so you don't miss any news in the future okay goodbye